Yes, welcome back to the Kids Kindness Club. I hope you've had an amazing week and I hope your week has been filled with learning something new. Remember last week, we learned all about why learning new things is good for us. Can you remember why? Yes, it's because when we learn something new, it releases a natural chemical in the brain that goes through the body and it helps us feel good. And learning something new also improves our memory. We put this into action this week when we took Joseph to the Natural History Museum in London. <gasps> and it was amazing. We learned all about volcanoes and earthquakes and Joseph's favorite, dinosaurs. Yes. And Joseph still believes he's, he thinks he saw what he really believes to be a real T-Rex. Ah, <gasps> it wasn't a real T-Rex, but it was a very lifelike model. It was amazing. And the smile on all of our faces when we were learning all these new things was absolutely amazing. So, I hope you had that same effect doing the Kindness Challenge. I'm going to announce those winners a bit later on, so stay tuned. Okay team, Sunday the 4th of July sees the nation celebrate its very first national thank you day. Yes! After 18 long months of this COVID related experience, lockdown restrictions are hopefully coming to an end. And you guys have been amazing. You've had to miss school, you've not been able to see some of your family and friends over long periods of time. But you know what? From the beginning, we've been helping each other through as families, streets and communities, checking in on each other, making sure neighbors are okay, key workers going to work when they had to, and us staying at home whenever we were told. You lot are amazing for all the things that you've come through this year. And the following day, on Monday the 5th of July, it also just happens to be the NHS's 72nd birthday. Oh, so what a time to say thank you to all of those people that have helped us get through that time. Stay tuned to find out what this week's kindness challenge is because it's all about saying thank you. A huge well done to everyone that took part in last week's Kindness Challenge. Oh, you were all amazing. Of course, it was all about learning new things. And what you had to do was learn to say, I am kind in four different languages. Three of them being French, je suis gentil, Spanish, yo soy amable, and my favorite, oh my goodness, I love this, Italian, yo sono gentil. Oh, all very similar, but also amazing. And some of you gave examples in Czech, in Polish, in Portuguese. Oh, such wonderful, wonderful things. And even Sophia, now check this out, she learnt hers in Mandarin. Well done, Sophia, brilliant. And you even wrote it in Mandarin, which was even more impressive. Oh, incredible, incredible, incredible. Now, as ever, I can only choose two winners, and because you all got it right, I'm gonna choose these two winners at random, which I've already done with Jamie. So without further ado, the first winner of last week's Learn Something New Kindness Challenge is... Riley! Yes! Congratulations, Riley! Well done! And the second winner is... Eden! Woohoo! Yes! Well done, you guys! Great work! And remember, we, all, we are all winners when we do these challenges because it's helping us feel good, it's helping other people feel good, and you guys, by choosing to do these things are helping make this world a better place. So well done and thank you so, so much. Your kindness challenge this week is to say thank you to someone very special in your life. Maybe it's someone who's helped you get through the last 18 months. Maybe it was someone who was there through a lockdown that really supported you and helped you. It could be a parent, a friend, a family member. Uh, your local key worker, a doctor, a social worker, anyone that you can think of. And we want to say a big thank you to them. So all you have to do is complete our thank you worksheet. And we really want you to get thinking about what you're thankful for. So please write down three things that you are thankful for. And then we'd love you to write a letter to someone to say thank you. And remember to think about why you're thanking them. What have they done for you and what it has meant to you. 
So please go away, have a great time doing this, and I promise you, whoever you're writing that letter to is just gonna, oh, it's gonna fill their hearts. Uh, send in your entries here as well, and we'll choose uh, someone to receive a little prize as well. But um, you'll all be winners doing this, I promise you. Uh, which leaves me to say a big thank you to you guys. Uh, we started the Kids Kindness Club over the last 18 months, over during COVID and lockdown and all these things. And I can't tell you how much your emails mean to me. When they come in and I see what you've been doing and the challenge you've been doing and the kind things that you've been making for the people we've helped, oh my goodness, It honestly, it lights me up. It's my favorite thing to get and to receive. Uh, and that's all thanks to you. So thank you so much for helping cheer me up and making my life better throughout all of this. You're all amazing. I'm super proud of you and I'm super proud to know you all as well. Have a great week, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.